Senator from Jefferson 19, for what purpose do you rise? Communicate with the body, Madam Please President. Please proceed. Thank you. Uh, the Senator from Davies announced that the group from Emerge Owensboro was here, and I thought I would point out one thing first. That one of my law school classmates, Tim Klein, is a member of that, that group and is here today, and along with uh, Mr. Klein and the Senator from Wayne, we have three graduates, including myself, of the University of Kentucky College of Law class of 2007. So we have three esteemed members here today. Um, as they know, I certainly enjoy college sports. And what I'd like to communicate with the body today has a little bit to do with college sports. You know, in this Commonwealth, we certainly know an awful lot about college athletics. Uh, many members of this body have certainly recognized all the championships and recent successes of both the University of Kentucky and the University of Louisville. As a lifelong Kentuckian, I'm proud of those successes. As many of you here know, I am a die-hard fan of our college sports here in the Commonwealth. I love the passion, enthusiasm that they arouse in all of us. But what some of you might not know is I am also a graduate of the University of Missouri. And Missouri had a pretty good little sports season itself this past year. As a matter of fact, the uh, University of Missouri, they won the SEC East. They played for the SEC Championship this year in football. They had a 12-2 and overall record. They were ranked in the BCS top five at the end of the regular season. They won the prestigious Cotton Bowl, and they were ranked in the top ten at the end of the season. And growing up watching football with my grandfather, I know what it takes to win college football games at a championship level. Defense. That's right. Defense wins championships. And for Missouri this year, that was no exception. Missouri's strong defense this year was anchored by a Six foot two, 255 pound lineman named Michael Sam. Michael Sam is from the small town of Hitchcock, Texas, but there is nothing small about the season he had. His monstrous season exploded for 11 and a half sacks, 19 tackles for a loss. He was unanimously selected as an All American, only the second unanimous selection in the history of the University of Missouri. Maybe more impressively, he was named the SEC Defensive Player of the Year. He's also on track to graduate and be drafted to the National Football League in May. However, getting in the trenches against the offensive linemen of the Southeastern Conference was not the most courageous thing Michael Sam did this year. On Sunday, Michael Sam announced that he is gay. He will be the first openly gay player to be drafted play in the National Football League. Michael's courage deserves applause. I'm sorry that it's such a big deal, but I'm thrilled that we live in a country where in 2014 it's okay for any person to achieve their dreams. We've made big strides in that regard, but unfortunately I think we still have a ways to go. Our laws here in Kentucky prohibit discrimination based on uh, race, religion, gender, age, or ethnicity. This discrimination is prohibited for things like employment, housing, and accommodations. But only 25% of Kentuckians currently live in a city where a local ordinance protects them from that same discrimination just because of their sexual orientation. We need that to change. Just think, if Michael Sam gets drafted by the Bengals, I want him to live across the river right here in the great Commonwealth of Kentucky. If that's his wish, mine is that he is able to buy or rent a house without the fear of discrimination. He should be able to eat at our wonderful restaurants with his teammates without the fear of being denied service. If, after his playing days are over, he wants to stay here, coach one of our high schools, one of our colleges, that's something he should be able to do without the fear that he will receive reprisal or not be hired simply based on who he loves. The only fear Michael Sam should face should come from the offensive players of the National Football League. That's why, along with the senator from Jefferson 35, this year I'm proposing a bill that will eliminate that fear for thousands of Kentuckians. It is a simple bill. All it does, all it does is simply add that along with race, gender, age, religion, and ethnicity, a person cannot be discriminated against based on their sexual orientation. 
It has been reported that Michael Sam's teammates rallied around him when he came out to them before the season started. And what a season it was. When Michael Sam made the brave decision to come out publicly, the University of Missouri responded by saying, we support Tigers of all stripes at Mizzou. Proud of you, Michael Sam. Well, today I'm proud to be a Tiger. I'm always proud to be a Kentuckian. As Kentuckians, we need to rally around our teammates and stand up for the thousands of people in this Commonwealth who also fear discrimination simply because of their orientation. In a day and age where even our most macho and American sport recognizes this reality, Kentucky needs to catch up with the times. My hope is that this simple bill will finally get the hearing it deserves, and the people of Kentucky will get the equality they deserve. Thank you, Senator. Any other members seeking recognition under motions, petitions, and committees?